So, uh, rest in peace to Thompson Boxing Promotions. They just did their last show, and they're closing their doors. Um, it's unfortunate. We, we like the Thompson card, the uh, local shows they had in California. But um, we didn't get into uh, the second show today. Um, and the WBC has some really strange rules, a, a complete double standard in the way it's treating Big Charlo and uh, Connor Ben. And we're going to get into that. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day uh, to keep you up to date. 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, so... Connor Ben has just been dropped from the rankings by the WBC. Now, before you say he also fell a, a drug test, which he did, he was cleared. The WBC cleared him of them. So you can't clear someone, right? It's like I, I put you in jail for charges you were cleared of. No, no. You were cleared of those. So that's got nothing to do with it. Mauricio Suleiman said for his inactivity he last fought in october of 2022 think about this guys jamal charlo i'm sorry april of 2022 he last fought Chris Van Eerden in April of 2022. He fought Chris Algieri in December of 21. He fought uh, Adrian Granados in uh, September of 20, uh, of 21. Big Charlo didn't fight at all in 2022. And has a fought since June of 2021. So that's 25 months ago. Connor Ben has fought three times since Big Charlo last fought. But Big Charlo can keep his title. Big Charlo can keep his world titles, keep his world title. But Connor Ben, who's fought three times since Charlo last fought, gets dropped out of the rankings because he's inactive. Well, to find activity, right? Typically, you have to take a mandatory. At least once every two years. Charles way past that. He's got nothing on the docket. He was supposed to fight in July. Then he was supposed to fight Canelo in September. He backed out of both of those fights, and he's got nothing on the docket. So it, a, a, And Suleiman said there's no time frame. So he can do whatever he wants. What is the rule by the WBC, and what is the purpose of having bylaws, having guidelines, if you're not going to, if you're just going to change them, this is a complete and utter double standard. There's no other way. There's no other way to explain this. Charlo has no time frame and is at no risk of losing his title due to inactivity. Connor Ben, who's fought three times. Since Charlo last fought three times, won all three of them, is dropped out of the rankings for inactivity. You can't make this up, guys. But this is why boxing is a joke. This is why, could you imagine another sport doing this? It's insane. There should be, the WBC should have one set of bylaws. One. You have to fight X amount of times or you're dropped. Either that means for your world title, I would say once a year. 
You got to fight a minimum of, of once a year. If you don't fight once a year, after 12 months, you have 60 days to fight, let's say. You go in an interim, and if you don't defend that title in 60 days, you're dropped. If you, and we, we, and we can argue these numbers. The, the, the actual number is important. It's the rule that's important. And then holding everyone to that, I would say a year. You have one year to fight to defend that title. If you don't defend that title in a year, you can be given a 60-day extension. If you have not fought in that 60-day extension, that's it, you're done. You go to interim for 60 days, right? Um, the champion emeritus, whatever you want to call it. And then you have to fight in the 60 days. Then you'd have to fight again a couple months later, right? Because you got to fight once a year. So, okay? That's how I would work that. And the same thing for the rankings. You've got one year to fight. If you don't fight in 12 months, you're dropped out of the rankings. Now, you, again, we can have a 60-day grace period where you, you're, you're kind of put on hold for those 60 days, right? But you can't not fight for two years and then have someone who hasn't fought, who's fought three times since then, and they're dropped out for inactivity. You need to be able to define active and inactive in your bylaws and hold all the fighters to that standard, right? Like, this is... Not really even lawyer jargon. This is just like common sense. Like if you're going to strip a fighter for being inactive, well, what do you mean by inactive? What, how active does a fighter have to be until, uh, you know, their credentials are taken away, their rankings, their belt, whatever is taken from them. There needs to be one set of rules. What they're doing, which Jamal Charlo, like I, I got problems with all the organizations. Um, Errol Spence don't fight. He's got three belts at 147. Crawford fights once a year. I suppose he can keep his belts because he does fight once a year. But they're holding up the division, and no one is holding the fighter to their feet. They've held up. Boots didn't get a shot. Verge didn't get a shot. Kind of bend. No one gets a shot because the two guys that hold the four belts don't ever fight. Spence has fought twice in four years, guys. Spence has fought, fought twice in four years. How is that guy paying his bills? He's got this huge ranch um, south of Dallas. Um, How is he paying for this? I think it's Waxahachie or something. How is he paying for this? Crawford fights once a year. right? I'm going to pull up Crawford right quick real quick. Let me let me let me let me pull because he's gone over twelve months without fighting. Um, so, hang on, let me get Crawford pulled up here. Get let's get the exact dates on Crawford. He fought December of twenty nineteen. He fought uh, Mean Machine. He fought eleven months later. He fought Cal Brook. He then fought a year and a week later he fought Sean Porter and then he fought a year. Okay, so he he he's gone over just over a year. I mean just over a year and a month, a year and a week. I stripped him for that too. Fight once a year. Why is this so freaking difficult? Why? Since the beginning of, of 2020, since January of 2020, that's three and a half years ago. He's fought three times. Spence has fought twice in four years. Why are these guys allowed to keep their belts? Why is Charles allowed to keep his belt with no time or with no time restraints? But Connor Ben has dropped from the rankings. You guys gotta make this make sense to me. Right? This, why why is there why can't there be a standard and people are held to that standard? One rule, universal, applies to everyone, all 17 weight classes, all champions, and, and ranked contenders. Why is that so difficult? This is embarrassing. But let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes out to you every day, uh, 8 uh, to 10 minutes in, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is July 22nd from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.